like to share an interesting case that we did. This involved a thoracic endovascular aneurysm repair with debranching. The patient was presented to me with a thoracic dissection that originated just proximal to the left carotid artery. This dissection extended throughout the aortic arch, the descending aorta, the abdominal aorta into both iliac arteries. The patient had no symptoms of ischemia related to any of his limbs or any of his organs and actually presented with symptoms associated with fatigue. Because of the extent of the arch dissection, it was decided to do debranching of the aortic arch. With the branching of the aortic arch, the major branches are relocated to a more proximal point on the thoracic arch. And in this case, it was done by means of a partial side clamp on the ascending aorta with an inverted polyester type graft attached to this area on the ascending aorta. The distal limbs were then attached first to the brachiocephalic artery supplying the right arm and the right carotid artery and then onto the left carotid artery supplying the left side of the brain. What made this case interesting was that we decided from the word go to make use of a third limb attached prior to the operation onto this inverted Y graft um, and this was basically sewn at the level of the bifurcation facing the opposite direction than the other two limbs. This limb made it possible to pass guide wires anti-grade, in other words, in the direction of flow into the ascending aorta, through the aortic arch, down the descending aorta, the abdominal aorta, the iliac artery, and then through the femoral artery where it was extracted through a surgical incision. This made it possible to pass a stiff guide wire through this whole section and was possible to work throughout this area without any compromise as far as access was concerned. It was also possible to do arteriography through this extended limb and we also made use of this when we passed the thoracic endovascular aneurysm repair device from the femoral artery all the way through the abdominal artery, abdominal aorta, thoracic aorta, aortic arch, and then the tip was actually passed into this limb without having to pass either a guide wire or the tip of the endovascular aneurysm repair deployment device through the aortic valve at all. This obviously increased the safety of the procedure. With this is actually a photo that was taken um, during the course of the procedure when the endovascular aneurysm repair was already deployed. And in the video, you can see the, the position of this inverted um, Y limb attached and then the extended limb lower down. This extended limb was oversewn towards the end of the procedure because it had no purpose anymore. During the procedure it was possible to um, restore the blood supply to the patient's brain and the right arm. We were also able to cover the origin or the entry level of the dissection by means of the thoracic endovascular stent graft and we were also able to treat the um, aneurysm that was the result of the complication of this dissection with a very favorable result. Thank you for watching.